Oh yeah, I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to texture the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and enable the rig again. And then let's just open up the character's mouth so that we can see what it looks like inside. Um, let's just open his mouth up wide. Oops. It's giving a weird kind of expression by doing that. Let me make it wider. Okay, and let's just open up the mouth a little bit. Okay, so that we can see the insides of the mouth. Okay, so if I go ahead and I hit rendered, you can see that the materials of the mouth are not set up correctly. Uh, the teeth look plain white because we it's a separate 3D model. It's, it doesn't have this skin texture applied to it. So we need to add the textures for that. And the insides of the tongue are not complete yet. So if I go back into solid mode and select the character and go into texture paint, you'll see that even clearly. So let's go ahead and start texturing stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's say select the teeth. So not the rig, but the teeth itself, if I can select it. Okay, and I'll set the top teeth as well. So shift, right click the top teeth, and then just hit the slash key on your numpad so that you'll see this in local view. We only need to see the teeth, we don't need to see anything else. Okay, so if I now go ahead and hit rendered, you'll see that it has no material at all. So let's go ahead and create materials for it. So I'm gonna hit new, and I'm gonna call this one gums. Hit another one, plus, hit new again, let's call this one teeth. For the gums, let's give it a nice uh, pinkish color. Also the same over here, let's just add in gums, and let's uh, add a new material, let's bring in, in teeth. So now we need to assign the materials where the parts of the teeth will occur and where the parts of the gum will occur. So by default, both of them only have the gum material. So let's go ahead and assign the parts of the model where we want the teeth. Right click and select the parts of the gum. And then I just press that. Control plus plus plus. We select only the parts with the gum. But I don't want that. I want only the teeth. So I hit Control I. And then Control plus. So that we have only the teeth selected. That's just a quick way. You can also manually select the vertices if you like. But I just find this a very quick way to do things. So hit uh, teeth and hit assign. Okay. Do the same for the bottom. You'll see that we have our teeth material set up. But the problem is, it looks a bit fake. Uh, it looks a bit plastic. So what we want to do is we want to... I change the node editor again. We want to make the uh, gums appear like real gums. And the material for that is generally quite simple. Just shift A, add in the principal shader. And then I'm just copy, paste this color. So control C, break this link. Control V, remove the diffuse shader. Okay, still looks plasticky, but I need to increase the subsurface to something like, say, say something like that. And now it starts to look like real gum. Um, you can't really see that clearly here, but when, you, when we add it into our model, you can see it better. The reason why it's looking so bright is because I have three lights, and the, the, um, with subsurface materials, the lights can scatter through an object. Okay, so the gums are now done. The teeth. Um, is also quite simple. Just remove the diffuse shader. Shift A, I'm going to add in a principal shader. And it's just simply going to have the default, but maybe with a bit more sheen and a, a bit more specular. And that's it. Nothing really, nothing really special about that. And now if I hit the slash key on my notepad, it'll bring the character back. I can tap out of edit mode, hit save and have a look at that in rendered mode. There we go. Our teeth now look like proper teeth. We now want to paint the insides of this character's mouth pretty much with the same color as the gums. So, um, of course, I can go ahead and select a color. Uh, to, to select the correct color, I, may, I might just go to the uh, teeth. Select the gums, and we hit Control C on that base color to copy the color. And now let's go back to the tech character texture, and over here, Control D. Okay, and let's just add that to the palette. So now we're going to paint the tongue and the insides of the mouth this pinkish gumish color. So this gives me a good chance to show you how to paint uh, on the 2D canvas instead of the, just the 3D model itself. So 
right now if I paint directly on the 3D model, you can see that um, our textures are being applied, but it's very, very difficult to paint everywhere on onto the insides of our, of our model. Like I can't seem to paint behind the character's tongue. And I want to be able to capture every part, like the bottom of the character's mouth and things like that. So instead of doing that, um, I can actually paint directly onto the 2D canvas, into, our, into the image. And that is one effective way to help us paint in areas that are difficult to paint on the 3D model itself. So it's always important to get a good UV unwrapping. Um, so to actually paint on the, on the 2D canvas and have it reflected onto the 3D model, just change this from view to paint mode. Okay, so now if I just get out of that for a second, and if I paint directly onto the canvas, you can see it being reflected automatically onto our model. Because this is what our... Because this material is actually being read from this image file here. Okay, so all I need to do is just paint that pinkish color over here. Notice I'm adding a, a bit of a, a bleeding uh, over the edges over here. I'm using my mouse to paint, by the way. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want the pressure sensitivity from the pen. I want a, a solid color. You can also go away and, and take this image to Photoshop or GIMP or whatever print, printing program that you prefer and then bring it back. That's another uh, effective way. That's generally what 3D artists tend to do. When they want to add more complex textures, they want to use some of the, the special features of Photoshop or GIMP to their textures. But for our case, we're just creating a very simple, simple texture. Okay, so I think that's done. The insides of the mouth is now complete. So if I go ahead and save this image, and I reload this image here. So let me go ahead and save as image. Maybe use the skin texture of JPG. And reload the JPG. There we go. That's, that's looking good, but one problem is that uh, we want it to look gummy just like the gums of our teeth. So we need to set up just the inner parts of the mouth to have this gummy material, whereas everything else has the normal skin texture. So to do that, let's go ahead and hit the plus. And I just want to call this one maybe a new material, we'll call it the inner mouth. And we're going to copy the same kind of node setup as the gums. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the teeth. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy that, control C and go back into the skin, remove this one, control V, and then stick that into the surface. And at the same time, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to input, sorry, texture, image texture. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse the skin texture uh, image. So if I can open that one, just plug that into the base color. So using our original skin texture that we painted, we plug that into the uh, principal shader, which will give that nice gummy look, and then we put that into the surface. So now we need to define which parts of the skin will have the inner mouth and which parts of the skin will have the, the, the total skin texture. So obviously we're going to define the inner parts of the mouth to have this skin texture. So to have this inner mouth texture. So I'm going to go ahead and select this loop, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit plus, control plus, control plus, control plus. To select just the inner parts of the mouth, control plus, and oh wow, that's pretty perfect. It's actually selected every part of the mouth that I want to have this uh, gummy kind of material. So go ahead and hit assign, and now the highlighted part of, of this mesh will have this inner mouth gummy material, and the rest of the model will have just the usual skin material. So if I just tap out of edit mode, and then press save, and then hit render, there we go. The inner parts of the mouth now have that gummy kind of material. So that's pretty much it for the texturing and shading of the inner part of the mouth and teeth. If you'd rather just get the completed 3D model, please click on the link below. And also please subscribe, like and share and I hope to see you in the next video.